again and welcome to my channel, The Nutritional Foodie here. So as you know from the previous video I did last week, I fermented some chilies and today I'm going to make a hot sauce using these chilies. Alrighty guys, so stick around for the video and shortly I'll show you how you can use these ingredients to make a really fantastic hot sauce. today to make this hot sauce will be one ground onion, one lemon, a handful of coriander and of course the star of the show, the fermented chilies. So these chilies have now been fermenting for two weeks and to tell you the truth they look excellent. It's exactly the way that I wanted this recipe to work. Uh, we have some really good bacteria building up in here and it's going to really add a depth of flavour into the hot sauce. First step guys we need to find a jar that's going to be perfect to hold our hot sauce in. Now just as mentioned in my previous video, in the how to ferment your chilies, which I will link in this video, we need to sterilise this jar, just so that it can protect the chilli sauce and it will keep a lot longer in the fridge. In the recipe, I'll be using one brown onion. Now I'm going to peel this and cut it in half, and then we'll put it in our blender with all our other ingredients and blitz that up. Our next step now, get a handful of fresh coriander and that will be going in the mix as well, alongside with a squeeze of a fresh lemon. I'm going to add one cup of white vinegar. So when I drain these chilies here, we're going to use the chilies, we'll leave the brine out and we'll be starting with some fresh white vinegar and a tablespoon of salt. Alrighty guys, now it's time to drain our fermented chilies. This is the exciting part, I'm really looking forward to this. So what we do is we just grab something that you can drain these chilies into and a bowl. Pop the lid for the first time, here we go. Oh yeah, that smells good. That smells really nice. So we're just going to drain our chilies now into this bowl. And also there is some garlic in here as well. I put those, uh, the garlic cloves into the mix. All right, so now that they've drained, we're now going to put these chilies here. I'm using a Thermomix today. Uh, you can use any food processor or a blender because the idea is that we want to pulse it all up to make a sauce. So we're going to put our chilies in our blender. Make sure that you add all the seeds as well. If you like a bit of heat, definitely don't leave the seeds out. Our next step now, we're going to add a cup full of coriander. The two onions that I cut earlier, one cup of vinegar, and a squeeze of lemon. We also want to add one tablespoon of salt. We're going to blitz this up now and hopefully we get a really lovely hot sauce. Process the processor on. Let's have a look, hey? Oh, nice. That looks excellent. <laughs> smells amazing. Alrighty guys, our sauce is now done. Now we need to get our sterilised jar, which I have here. That's been in the boiling water now for five minutes, so that should be nice and clean for when we put our hot sauce in. I'm just going to pour out the hot sauce now into the jar. And you'll see the beautiful colour that we get from adding the coriander. Oh, perfect. Alrighty guys, that's our hot sauce. How easy is it? From growing the chilies out the back, to fermenting them, and then to making a beautiful homemade hot sauce. You can't go wrong with that. It beats any store-bought hot sauce. Making your own is so satisfying, and it's so easy to do. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave me a comment below, and let me know what you would like to see me cook next time. As well, give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And whenever I drop a new video, you will be so there. Thanks for watching guys and have a fantastic day. See you later.